When Russian forces took control of the Ukrainian region of Crimea, oil and gas prices temporarily spiked, underlining Europe's dependence on Russian supplies. Western Europe gets 30 percent of its natural gas from Russia. Ukraine, for its part, gets 60 percent of its supplies from Russia. Russia is the second largest producer of natural gas, and, and Europe heavily relies on Russia for gas. So uh, that's really a big concern in terms of getting that uh, affordable, reliable source of energy across to Europe. And that's why uh, you want to see more markets liberalize and open up to allow gas to flow more freely and not have this dependence on Russian gas. Twice in recent years, in 2006 and 2009, Russia temporarily shut the pipes bringing gas to Ukraine and Western Europe after Ukraine supposedly fell behind in its gas bill. But analysts say Europe will soon be less dependent on Russian supplies. In fact, last year, hydrocarbon giants Chevron and Shell signed deals to explore for shale gas in Ukraine itself. Ukraine is a possibility. Poland has a lot of shale gas that they're looking to develop. And the United States as well, and just generally in North America, we have a lot of natural gas in the United States that we're looking to export because the price of natural gas is so cheap. So uh, the United States could be a, a huge supplier of natural gas to the Ukraine and to Western Europe uh, and, and other places places as well. Uh, Qatar is building export facilities and has some already and so does Australia and they're continuing to build more. So we could really see the global landscape change for uh, both natural gas and oil in the next coming years. This year's mild winter has helped push European gas reserves to their highest level since 2008. So the West is in a relatively strong position to withstand any Russian threats to reduce gas supplies. Still, there are fears the confrontation over Ukraine could get out of hand. At this point, the, uh, there, there's been some increase in global prices because of the unrest and uncertainty, and that's to be expected. I think the question is, does this begin to uh, cool down and move towards some kind of settlement, or do we get into a mutual round of very damaging sanctions, which in the remote possibility could involve uh, Russian uh, gas and oil supplies to Europe, and that would certainly drive the price up. By aligning itself with Western Europe, Ukraine has given up the 30 percent discount on gas prices that Russia had offered. Analysts say it could be worth it if the country uses the opportunity to modernize its infrastructure and end large-scale corruption that has reportedly skimmed billions of dollars off Ukraine's gas and oil payments. The crisis in Ukraine brought about a temporary spike in crude oil prices in recent weeks, but a milder European winter should lessen any impact this year. In the longer term, analysts say the advent of new sources of both crude oil and natural gas should lessen Russia's ability to use its hydrocarbon exports as a political weapon. Burton Bolag, KSA2, Washington.